signing up for AutoCAD student version. Okay, I'm going to take you through the method to get the program with the student version. So, in a browser of your choice, go to students.autodesk.com. This is the student community website for Autodesk. We will go to register in the top right corner and we will start the registration. So, let's see, we're from the United States of America, so let's su select that for country. I'm just going to type in an old student email of mine, and i got to type it back in again. And for this next spot, I'm going to select student just so that it seems the same as everyone else. And going to step two. So, here I'm going to put in some information and make sure that all the blocks are filled in. If any of them are blank, it won't accept it. So, to avoid all seeing all my personal info, I'm just going to skip ahead to uh, selecting the school, state, region, city, and name. So we're a part of the University of Arkansas at Fort Smith. So Arkansas, Fort Smith, University of Arkansas, Fort Smith. This next part is your account confirmation. You got three choices. Facebook, which is out of the picture, unfortunately, um, and email and text messaging. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit and log in with my actual account so which will show up here in a little bit. Okay so let's see No, I don't want it to remember my password. Okay. So, this is what your account should look like. And down near the bottom, we'll see Download Free Software Now. That will take you to the list of Autodesk software available for students. So, we're going to be using AutoCAD. Well, if you notice, there are two versions. Here we have Autodesk AutoCAD and AutoCAD for Mac. This AutoCAD for Mac is for all you Apple lovers out there. And However, I am using a Windows, so I'm going to download Autodesk AutoCAD, and I'm going to use 2013 because that's what the book has. And yes, I speak English, and I have a Windows 64-bit computer. There's some help sections on this website about figuring out which one is actually yours. Then here, we'll need to make sure to remember that serial number details. Um, that's important later on. Unfortunately, I don't actually show that in this video. So, after clicking install now, we have the license agreement and we can hit I accept and install. So, here in a little bit, yep, we want to save the file and it'll download. So, yeah, I do show the whole minute and three seconds that it takes to download this. But don't worry, I don't actually show the several hours later that it actually took to download the whole program. This particular download is just the installer, and in order to use the installer, you need to have access to the internet. Because the installer downloads the entire 3 gigabyte AutoCAD program. So that will take a while. 
So, and you might notice the, like, 90 kilobytes per second. Eh, not great internet, but it's something. So, hmm. Well, I guess at this point, I could s ask for a little pardon on the side of the screen capture program I'm using. You might have noticed that the frames jump back and forth sometimes, like right here. Um, yeah, it's because I'm using a freeware um, screen capture, so it works. Now we can open the downloader. And let's see. It might take a bit. And my computer is going slow, as you can see by that little error there. But that's because of the screen capture program running at the same time. Ah, there it is. Okie dokie. So we want to run the file. And here is the downloader. It is downloading. So don't worry, I'm not going to actually show the whole download process. So let's just skip ahead for several hours. Okay, um, this is part still downloading some things but uh, determining installation requirements where we'll see here in a little bit it actually pops up with the installation information so like right here we have where we can install it or change the directory so since I've actually already had AutoCAD 2013 on my computer at one time, it's not going to have to install everything. If you've had or currently have AutoCAD 2013, it won't install much. But if you haven't had it before, yeah, three and a half gigabytes is a lot of download. So. And once we're done, you see the icon on my desktop. Should be on yours too. We double click on it, and it'll open the program. The first time you open this program will be the longest time it takes to open the program. So, because it has to do a lot of things at the first time. So. And, yeah, it's really taking a long time. But I guess it's not too bad. Probably taking a while also because my screen capture program running in the background. So. I actually expect to get a better version, or at least a better um, program for screen capturing in the future. Yeah. So, maybe the next few demos won't be so bad. Okay, so it's beginning the opening. You'll always have that little warning 
basically it's saying that you are using a student version of AutoCAD 2013. Everything that you print or publish will have that little warning on it and will have a watermark. This is the welcome screen which pops up the first time and I don't want it to pop up again so I clicked on that little button so that it doesn't display in the future. So, and that's how you download AutoCAD 2013 student version. See you next time.